What's up, boys? Today I have not one, but two play of the days for you guys today. And we are eight and one on the year for play of the days. If you guys are on prize picks, you guys are going to want to hop on prize picks for these player props. Make sure you guys tail your own risk, play responsibly. But I feel pretty damn good today about these two play of the day picks. So, yeah, check out the description. There's a bunch of stuff down there. There's a Patreon link. You guys can get access to all of my different plays. Uh, again, link is in the description. Prize picks link is in the description. 100% deposit match using my code DOMG. Definitely recommend signing up. That's where you guys can get these two player props, and they look pretty damn juicy today. I love both of these a lot. I do like one more than the other, so stay tuned, though, for all the breakdowns and all the different stuff. But make sure you guys sign up for prize picks, and make sure you guys join the Patreon if you guys want. Uh, you get access all month long for $11.99 a month, and uh, you get full breakdowns of all of my different plays that I play every day. So there's more than just these two, but uh, these two will be uh, in today's video. So let's take a look, though. First player prop today. It's going to be an MLB Live prop here. This is a prize picks exclusive, so that's why I said you guys are going to want to join prize picks. But the first one I like, and this is going to be my most loved play of the day today, it's going to be Josiah Gray over two MLB Live strikeouts. This looks so juicy, man. So, so, so juicy. Again, tell it your own risk, but I'm loving this today. Let's take a look into this. So this game right here, he is on the road going to Philadelphia here. 7.05 today. Uh, we don't care too much about the over under or anything like that because we're only focused on the first two innings here. We need him to have three strikeouts in the first two innings here, two strikeouts for a push. We just have to have him not have one strikeout in the first two innings, but we want two or more. Um, preferably three, obviously. But he is a minus 166 to go over five and a half full game strikeouts. I personally will have two units on this. The other player prop today, the other play of the day will have 1.5. So. I like this one a lot. Usually, the play of days I post are usually 1.5 units, but I like Gray that much, and I'm bumping it up to two units. But uh, in 11 out of his last 12 games, he has at least pushed this. We'll take a look more into this one here. But he's hit nine of those 12 games. So he's hit this in nine of his last 12 games, pushing in the other two and only losing in one of his last 12. Also, Philadelphia, they rank fifth in K percentage versus right-handed pitchers. And 10 of the last 11 starting pitchers to face Philadelphia have at least pushed this with four of those guys going over. So again, let's uh, talk about this a little bit. So he's coming off of really, he's hit this in five straight games. I mean, three, four, three, four, and four. And now he's facing a team that ranks fifth in K percentage versus right-handed pitchers. So I love this matchup a lot. I love his recent game log. He's been able to go, he's been able to soar over. He's doubled his uh, line here against the Dodgers and the Cardinals, two of the tougher strikeout teams. And now he gets to face a team that's ranks fifth in K percentage. I love this spot a lot. I love it. I love it. I love it. But this is what the pitcher game log looks like versus the Phillies and how pitchers have done against the Phillies lately. Espino, his strikeout line was three. Full game, he was three on prize picks last night. I know because I played it and ended up pushing. But uh, he had two strikeouts in the first two innings here. I mean, that's the guy who had three at first full game line. He hit this in the, he had two in the first two innings. Then you had like Charlie Morton with two, Strider had four, Brubacher had three, Mitch Keller with two. The only guy to go under this here in the last like 11 games, I think I said, was uh, Mitch Keller. I'm sorry, uh, Jose Quintana actually went under. Uh, Zach Thompson pushed this, Charlie Morton went over, Drew Smiley went over. I think Joe Sagre can definitely get it done today. It's a good matchup. He's been going crazy lately with strikeouts, especially in the first two innings. So, you know, I got to rock with him today, man. That will be the first player prop in today's video. Let's take a look at the 1.5 unit play. So, I just want a little bit less, but I definitely do like it. It's going to be Eric Lauer over the first two innings. Uh, MLB Live Strikeouts here. So, I like him. Same line, everything. I just like this one a little bit less. The odds are a little bit worse when it comes to it, but it's still pretty good. He's a minus 120, I believe, to go over five and a half full game. Josiah Gray was like a minus 166. So, odds are a lot better for Gray. But uh, 10 out of the last 11. Uh, he has at least pushed this, and he has hit in six of those games. Eight, eight out of the last 12 starting pitchers have at least pushed this versus Philadelphia. I'm sorry, versus uh, Cincinnati hitting in six. I'll take more of a look into this one here. But also, Cincinnati, they rank second in K percentage versus the left-handed pitchers. So the second easiest matchup against left-handed pitchers when it comes to K percentage. Love the spot a lot for Eric Lau, where he can definitely get it done. He is a strikeout guy when it comes to the first two innings. I'll tell you right now. Lauer... He had three full game strikeouts against Colorado on the 24th, and he had all three of those in the first two innings. So he's just a guy that always gets it done, always gets it done, usually, uh, at least in the uh, first two innings here. So he's he relies on his strikeouts pretty much the entire game to happen in the first two innings here before the batters get onto him. But the only time he's, he's missed this, and I think I said the last 11 games, I think, was uh, against the Nationals here, who was definitely one of the tougher teams. But now he's facing a team that ranks second in K percentage. So I'm loving the spot a lot here. He's already faced the Reds this season. 
He had two in this game. I'm sorry, he had three in this game right here where he went over. I feel like he played them again this year. Now, I think that might have been his only game he's played them this year. So, yeah, he's faced them one time. Yeah, he's faced them one time this season, and he had uh, three in that game. So, he went over already against the Reds this season, and now they're ranking second at K percentage. He's gone over against tough teams. Like, Colorado was definitely a tough team. Uh, the Red Sox are a tough team. He had three strikeouts against them. I think the Red Sox are still a tough team when it comes to strikeouts. I, I think they weren't for a while, but... Anyways, this is what pitchers have done against the Reds lately, though. Starting pitchers versus them. Sandy Alcantara. He, I don't know what was up with him. He just was not getting the strikeouts done. But he had one strikeout there. Braxton Garrett, though, had three. Jesus Lazaro had four. Austin Voth had four. You have Kyle Brash with four. So and then you have like guys like Dean Kramer, though, and uh, Jeff Brigham, who are definitely not strikeout pitchers. Daniel Castano. But then you have, again, guys like Braxton, uh, yeah, Braxton Garrett, Pablo Lopez, Trevor Rogers, Miles Michaelis. Uh, right there that have you know, pushed and gone over this. So I'm loving the spot a lot here for Eric Lauer. I think both of these guys can definitely get it done today. Two play of the days for you guys today. Expecting big things today. Come on. Lauer, please do not let me down. And uh, Josiah Gray, please do not let me down. So we'll see how this goes today, man. I seriously do appreciate you guys watching. Always tilt your own risk. Look into these more on your own. Make sure you guys subscribe with the post notifications on so you guys can get in before, before some of these lines move. Everything's down in the description. The prize picks link if you guys want to join is down in the description below available in most states and also the patreon link is down in the description below 11.99 a month full breakdowns all that different stuff but that's gonna do it i appreciate you guys watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace out boys tail turn risk so have a good night tonight